Fox 4's Stephen Dial has more from Children's Health Dallas, where Ruby is being treated. Stephen. Clarice, that little girl had to have two surgeries today after being shot in the stomach, and now Dallas police are searching for the person who shot her. I would say that that was a very coward move. Um, shooting at a vehicle that is just that's is so uncalled for just because you never know who like I said I have three other kids that could have been my toddler could have been in the car at the time. Investigators say around 9 30 Sunday night on I-35 E near Manana Drive in northwest Dallas a man shot into a family's SUV multiple times. Police say the shooting was from a road rage incident. Yeah, Diamond Dixon was driving. Her daughter, Ruby Rhodes, was in the back seat right behind her and was shot in the stomach. I look over, his window was down and he was looking and next thing I know we just hear pop, 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 pop. Part of the scene was captured on a text dot camera. Dixon, a friend and her daughter were heading to Oklahoma City after spending time in Dallas for the weekend. She says the gunman in a white two-door car was driving aggressively. Dixon says when he cut her off, she honked her horn at him. After some maneuvering between the two, kind of shot my tire out. He shot the side of the car and shot the tire out, so I couldn't even go anymore. Rhodes had damage to her kidney and intestines. She had to have two surgeries, and her mother says doctors want her to stay in the hospital until at least Friday. Dixon recently moved from Dallas to OKC. She doesn't want others to go through what she experienced, saying in the future she won't honk her horn. Instead, she will report the tag number to police. She had this message for the person who hurt her daughter. You never know who's in the car and you should just really turn yourself in because that was just, my baby's life is will never be the same. Like, it'll never be the same. Not only is she traumatized, the scars from the surgery, this is honestly just the first process of many because they don't even, we can't even call it on what exactly is going to happen from here. And late tonight, Mayor Eric Johnson sending a tweet about this very incident, calling the shooter a monster and saying that he needs to be brought to justice as soon as possible. Also tweeting to me saying, hashtag stop the violence. Meanwhile, this family is just hoping someone will come forward with answers. Clarice. Stephen Dial live. Thank you.